Um, I don't know. Oh, we're in Irvine. We're in Irvine. Oh yeah, it's also showcase. We are showcasing in Irvine. Um, it is Sunday the 27th in Irvine, California at the Brent Center. Showcase time. Cali showcases today. Big day, <laughs> super big day. Um, first performance for Reckless. Um, last performance with this team, because it's going to be way different after this, so that's going to be interesting. Oh, there's cuts literally like next practice. You send your positive energy my way, um, anything, money, food, pray for me, <laughs> I don't want to fall. <laughs> Today I'm here to support my sister on TNT and my friends on Reckless. But today Spode's not performing because we just really aren't ready. We have a lot of switches. Their team just isn't put together yet and groups aren't set. So it was just better if we kept working instead of rushing to get some probably not as good routine out. Four, five, seven, eight, five, three, five, seven, eight, one, I'm so excited because last year we obviously, I performed. And this year I just get to chill and then watch her perform. It's my first time seeing all the people from different locations. I'm liking it. I'm loving the, uh, the family aspect of it. Everyone's getting along. We're uh, just cutting up, having a good time, watching what uh, our other locations are doing. And I'm loving what I'm seeing. It's got me excited for this season. And I was just like, man, really wish I was doing it today. Can't wait for our first competition and all that. My mom. She's from Louisiana. I'm Cynthia. Her name is Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> it's where he gets all of his good looks from and his tumbling skills. His good looks totally come from his dad, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so I had already been planning to come for Showcase because it was their first event, of course, and then it was announced that Smoed wasn't going to perform today. So I called him up and I asked him if he still wanted me to come and when the sun says yes, you still book the ticket and you come out to Cali. I saw I saw her once back in Labor Day when I went back home to say my goodbyes, pack my stuff, and drive out here. Um, she drove back with me to California, then I then she flew back home, and then yeah, this week is the first time I've seen her since then, and it, it's been nice. Uh, someone to pay for my meals <laughs> when it's when it's been tough paying for everything else. Groceries and gas and <laughs> it's all good. He just worked really, really hard. He's only been cheering two years and the last year he worked extremely hard to get on a team that he wanted to back home and as fate would have it, he did not make that team even though his skill level was there. The opportunity pretty much was handed to him three different times. Finally, the third time he got a phone call and within 48 hours of our conversation, uh, Eddie had said, when you fly out here, bring bring two weeks worth of stuff, you're on the team. We have four in the house still, and so for him not to be there, everyone feels it. He uh, He's very magnetic in his personality. People always want to be near him. Um, so it's been, it's been hard not seeing him. Well, she leaves tomorrow, and don't know when I'll see her again. Yeah, uh, you do. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of sad, but like, mm -hmm. I know I'm gonna see her again, kind of thing. So like, I'm not too sad about it. I'm seeing her, a familiar face, someone who loves me. It's just, it's good. Keeps me from being homesick, you know? Was I nervous about how hard Eddie pushes him? Uh, no. <laughs> a simple answer, no, because we raised our kids in such a way where we had pretty strict boundaries on them already. This gym is a lot more than just a, a world's winning gym. They, they're their boundaries, their expectations of what they instill in the kids. I, I don't care that he's across the country. I am so grateful for what they stand for and the quality of life that they expect out of these kids. So all along I had complete peace. My name is Roberto Sanchez. I'm Emilio Aviles. I'm Daniel Monte. So today's our TT Showcase, uh, where I'm very, very excited. Uh, nervous has been 
about, what, seven years that I've done this, so very excited. It's not just our first showcase, it's our first anything as a team, so it's for sure kind of nerve-wracking, but I'm really excited to see what we can do as a team on the floor, on the floor in front of pressure. Traveled a little bit, but it wasn't bad. We'll see what happens after cuts. Oh my god! We'll see if that shoulder drops after cuts. This year I started with um, over 40 kids, and every single kid worked really, really hard. So I didn't feel like I needed to cut anyone at the moment. So instead, this year, what I decided was I just allowed everyone to go to showcase, and then right after showcase, that's when the axe comes in. Uh, that group come to me real quick. TNT next. What's going on with the switch up pull up? Because it, it's almost every practice. It never looks the same, you know what I mean? Like every practice we either catch it and her arabesque is not here, it's all the way back here, or it's swaying this way. Can we do that one more time, please? Three, four, five, six, seven, catch. So my group was pretty consistent and then all of a sudden we just haven't been hitting. It's been really hard and I don't really know who it is. I think it's all of us being frustrated that it's not hitting. Three shoulders up. Much better. Lexi, there's that weird grip again. And down. I feel like the team is really fire heavy this year. Like there's so many of us and so it sucks, but it's also like you know that you can do your spot and so just because it's struggling a little bit doesn't mean that like you can't do it still. <laughs> Like I just got put back into the routine, so we had to like re like had to fix it and everything. This balls to the wall today. Yeah. You know, like this is it. If, if something's feeling shaky or you're not confident in something, then this, you know this is where we find out what you're made of, really. And this is gonna be a huge test. It's always been like, oh, Sierra's gonna be on the team because she's Sierra, like she's any Orbeez me, da, da, da. I'm like, no, like I've tried three years in a row to get onto a level five team and it never worked out for me. Listen, everyone bring it in and pay attention. There is, you're not up against anybody. This is just a showcase. Showcase it. No, do not be afraid of anything. Just get out there, don't hold back, give me all you got. Remember that for a lot of you, actually for both teams, this is your last tryout. Four need to come off of Reckless, 16 need to come off of TNT. When four drop down, 20 need to come off of TNT. Don't give me a reason to take you off the team. Just get out there and do your job. Got it? Yes, sir. Questions, comments, concerns, smart remarks. Yes, sir. Bullets on three, nice and loud, nice and proud. I'll see you backstage. One, two, three, four, go. I got cut from Team USA once. Yeah. I didn't even go to the tryout. <laughs> like. <laughs> You're like, you did? I'm like, no, not at all. I won't even try. He's <laughs> like, you tried that? Get over here. All right, Anything we have to go.
showcases basically our tryout, and if you do good, um, he's gonna review the the video and decide who he's gonna keep and who he's gonna, you know, let go. And that's basically our final tryout. It's been a roller coaster since summer because people come in and people come out. Uh, it's kind of like cheerleading, but like really extreme because it's this new division and it's not like you know your spot's secure because you have tumbling, so it's like whatever piece to the puzzle fits. Oh, we have another team, we are coming up. Whenever we can see you. Where my Camarillo fans at? Woo! Let's go! We're coming back to the stage right now to put it down. We're going to know how to make some noise. We're going to count them right now. your best performance either. I'm just being straight up honest. There's a lot of little mistakes. A lot of bent knees on arabesque, a lot of cross legs on double, things that normally don't happen. I don't know why, but that's that. You guys are first year team and you're handling yourselves. Think three months ago where we were, okay? So feel good about what you did. Now the hard part is on me. Now I gotta take this video home and figure out what 16 of you come off this team. That's ultimately gonna be the hardest part. Remember that I don't take that lightly. It's hard for me to make these de decisions. I love you guys, you all work really hard, but at the end of the day, it's a puzzle. If you fit, you fit. If you don't, you don't. Got it? At that point, you have a choice. You can go, come back to practice and there's something that we can all discuss, or it's on you. Don't come back. Completely up to you. I, I would hope that you make the right decision, come back and try to prove me wrong. Those are the athletes I like to work with. Two years ago, I learned very quickly that you cannot coach with your heart. There are certain things that your heart is involved in, but when it comes to your players on the ground, it's gotta be the best 24, and your heart cannot be involved. I love you guys. Like I always tell you, no matter what, whether you hit the best routine of your lives or you fall apart, that will never change. Gotta get a good TNT, nice and loud, nice and proud, and one, two, three, TNT! Guys, you look nervous. Like, you look nervous. Showcase is really important for the world teams at California All-Stars because, and our coaches want to see how people will perform on a mat in front of a crowd. They're not sure how they're going to react to being on Reckless or to being on Smud. So that's a really important factor for all of us. Like, the first time you hit the mat with a team, 
makes a huge impression for the coaches. You've hit this routine a thousand times already. You've hit it in front of a crowd before. Maybe not this big, but you've hit it in front of a crowd. Like, believe in your sh Believe in your skills. Believe in your teammates. Believe in each other. Because right now, it doesn't look that way. Yeah? Like, for real, for real. When you get on that floor, watch what I'm about to do. Not dear God, please. And right now, that's what that happened. Dear God, dear God. It's you. Make it happen. This is almost like a... Like a com my comeback, like this is the first time people are going to see me perform again. This is the first time I'm going to perform again. It's super nerve-wracking. Now I'm like, okay, like, and I'm just jittery. But I try not to go there. We're trying to train. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's just showcase. We're fine. We're not fine. I felt that too. Yeah. Yeah. Like I got to the pyramid and I was like, let's go! And everyone's like, like, stop. This is the time to enjoy yourself. Listen. If you go out there and you don't perform, then that's another reason for me to... If I don't see that comfort of you guys being like owning that floor, then I'm like, eh, maybe she shouldn't hit that mat this year. Like, own the floor. Mean it. 100%. Not 110. 100. That's it. My whole mindset going into a showcase is just to do my best and do what I can do with the position I've been given and hope for the best and work well with my group that I've been given. I feel like as a team, we did pretty well for the beginning of the season. Um, tumbling was kind of a mess, but that's all stuff that's personal and like it can be fixed. So I thought it was pretty impressive that we could put out those stunts on the mat and hit them fairly well. It was amazing. I've never felt so like cool. <laughs> it was just such an amazing experience. The crowd was so loud and we just really put our hearts on the floor and I'm really proud of it. This year is best 24 on the floor. Fortunately for me this year, I've got probably the strongest team that I've ever had. No hearts, no Fs given. I gotta put the best people on the floor and that's what I'm doing this year again. Everyone's kind of just waiting around. We're all calling each other like, hey, did you, did you get a text? Or do you know who got a text? Or, or, or did you get the email? Did they get the email? Oh my God, <gasps> she got the email? You never really know who all is gonna go when you know that there's cuts because there are some things that could surprise you. So, I mean, at any point, it could have been anybody. Some people who got cut, it was kind of, we saw it coming. Some people were just like, oh, no, not her. 
Thanks guys for watching Cheerleaders and don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV.